Could be. Shelby Doyle, National School Choice Week is joining us. Hey, Miss Shelby, how are you today? I'm wonderful. It's great to be with you. Tell folks what school choice is all about first so people can kind of understand the overview. Absolutely. Yeah, National School Choice Week is an annual celebration of every single type of educational option that parents have. So everything from open enrollment in traditional public schools to charter schools, online public high schools and middle schools, as well as private schooling and homeschooling and, of course, public magnet schools. So every type of educational option the parents have access to, we celebrate it the last week of January every single year. And, and vouchers, I assume you guys support those, right? Yeah, so in some cases, um, especially in states like Louisiana, there are vouchers or tax credit scholarships that parents can use. So it's definitely a time to raise awareness about those as well. Okay, school choice gets some of the educators riled up. It's, it's a hot button term to yeah. say the least. Uh, so they they claim that it hurts public schools. Is there something to that? You know, it is something that I've heard before. I think it's important um, for us as an organization. We really try to celebrate all forms of schools. But it's not an us versus them mentality of oh we're only support private schools at the expense of public schools. We have thousands of traditional public schools that celebrate the week as well because they want parents to know that they are a great choice and they're part of the platter of options that parents have in this country. And, you know, there's a lot of data that's available on this sort of question, and there is some that shows that even public schools in an area that where vouchers are available to parents benefit from children being able to choose that right fit and getting kids in the right classrooms for them. In Louisiana, specifically South Louisiana, charter schools are a big, big thing. There are more of them down south than there are in this part of the state, although there are a few. What can you tell us about charter schools, specifically in South Louisiana, and their success post-Katrina? Yeah, the post-Katrina charter world in Louisiana has been a really interesting opportunity for a lot of flexibility and innovation and just trying out a lot of ideas to see what works in a pretty desperate situation. Um, So, of course, charter schools are public schools, but they do have more freedom to innovate in exchange for some accountability measures. Sometimes they hit and sometimes they miss, but the idea there is that accountability is key and that when there's a really great strategy hit upon by a charter school that they can replicate and grow and have that freedom to find that great strategy that you wouldn't always have in a traditional public school. So it's been a bit of a mixed bag, but overall it's been easy to identify what does work and replicate that. Shelby Doyle with the National School Choice Week, you brought up an interesting point, and we have this subject going on here with one of our charter schools, accountability. Are the, are, is the playing field fair in, in terms of how our local public schools are graded and the, magnet or ch- the, the charter schools or private schools are graded? Is, the, is it a level playing field? I think it is, because ultimately the greatest accountability metric is a parent's decision to keep sending their kid to that school. Ultimately, that's a power that every parent has, and parents really care about whether their kids are getting a good education. They're paying attention, they're informed, and they're going to pull that kid from that school if they're not getting the right education for them. So to us, the most important metric is that parents talk about this every year, take a good hard look at where their kids are going, and then they find that right fit, whether that's moving your kid or thanking a teacher who's making the school they're already in great. That's an important thing to think about at least once a year. We, we, have at, we have at least one or two local charter schools that are, are, are unacceptable in terms of the accountability. Do we keep, should they keep operating or is it going to be up to the parents? Hey, this school's not performing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my child somewhere else. Is, is it all up to the parents or should the state or the federal government step in and go, you know, we're, we're not going to help you guys anymore. You're not, you're not making the grade. You know, as an organization, we really don't make policy recommendations. We're, we try to stay positive and inclusive. So I would hesitate to say from all the way in North Carolina where I am today what should happen in Louisiana. But, you know, it's up to the, the parents and the voters in Louisiana how they want to handle that. But I do think options are important, and we want to celebrate great options in Louisiana. National School Choice Week is next week. If folks go to your website, I'm sure you have one. What is it? And if I go there, what will I see? So you're going to go to schoolchoiceweek.com. We've got a lot of great resources for parents on there this week and going into National School Choice Week, which starts the 21st. 
So what you can first do is find an event going on near you. There's 32,000 going on across the country. Most are at local schools. Some are planned by organizations or homeschooling groups. You can search by your zip code or your city and find out what's going on near you. There are more than 100 going on in the Shreveport area. So there's a good chance that there's a school you've been wanting to check out, that that's a place you can find when they're having their open house or their other National School Choice League events. And you can also download a one-pager parent resource for school choice, where you can find out about the choices you have in every type of sector of school and how you can take advantage of them. Just to follow up on that, and it was something we did not touch on during the meat of the interview, you guys are also, you are also supporters of homeschooling, and if folks are considering that, you can give them information on, on that option also, right? Absolutely, yeah, and homeschooling, you know, is a kind of old-fashioned form of school choice. Susan B. Anthony was homeschooled, but there's way more resources now than ever if you're considering homeschooling your child. So that's a great form of school choice. And a lot of homeschooling support groups will have information sessions during National School Choice Week. So if you're not really sure how to get started, it's a great time to attend one and figure out how you could go about doing that in your family. Our last 30 seconds. Sorry I'm keeping you. Just got a text. A lot of these charter schools... D- aren't, they're not required to hire, hire certified teachers. And you have teachers that are blowing up my phone now saying that some of the teachers in some of these schools aren't qualified. Address that. Well, you know, I think charter schools do have more flexibility than a traditional public school. And if parents want to send their child to a school where they're only taught by teachers who have that certain sort of degree, then they are more than welcome to. But I do think it's important that parents have options. And charter schools are an option that many parents have decided is worth it to them.